Cliff led the college ranks in dunks last year. Sometimes he gets a little erratic with it down low. Speaking of erratic, there's a turnover for Columbia. Spencer for Mag, who's all alone for a two-hand jam. Rutgers the first eight points of the night. And look at Camp Spencer there. The nice move and finding Mag right down the middle to the lip. Before that, they're able to attack from his strong side and make the play. And now uh, Spencer takes it away. He's all alone and he lays it in. Around the back door cut, able to make the play and come up with the putback. And now Rutgers forces the turnover. Three on one here. Mag lays it in. Two more for the Scarlet Knights. <laughs> I'll pretend it was an intended pass. This was definitely an intended pass from Cam Spencer. Back to back buckets infuse energy to the Jersey Mike Serena faithful. And now a slip and injury. Mag ahead once again. Lays it in again. Now Spencer with some space to attack, fades away, and does it from inside the arc as well. He is quite the force down low. <laughs> yeah, that'll play. Spencer on the blow by as he goes back to work. And it looked like he got fouled there, but finished anyway. Now all of the scoring coming from Cam Spencer. How about some more? What a debut from the senior from the state of Maryland. Spencer trying to keep the hot streak alive, and he does! He's pumped up. Right there, all the confidence in the world as he drills that one from the right wing. Then they've outscored them 27 to four. So Rutgers is putting on a clinic. Oh, up for Hyatt, he got it anyway. Print the poster. Mag got a toe on the line, but look at that lob to Hyatt getting up there, way up there. This is a great camera for it. And man, that was an incredible pass and that's the second lob we've seen from Simpson and he gets all three at the stripe so now tied at seven haven't seen a lot of settled half-court stuff here from Sacred Heart and well there's Spencer taking it away Hyatt gets inside the paint with the left hand and caught them off guard a little bit and frankly to be honest with you Dom I'm kind of surprised that Sacred Heart is being as aggressive going to the rim they're strong suitors from behind the three-point line you mentioned in the pregame I'm surprised they're being as aggressive as they are they don't really have the size but so far that hasn't stopped them so far Johnson tried to kick it out but Spencer read it Cam Spencer all the way and caught the cookie jar but two steals already yeah, we saw this a lot on Monday. A lot of fast break points for Rutgers. Rutgers was able to get out and run. I asked Steve Peichel about that. I said, is that a strategy or is that more so just the way that the game went? Uh, Division one transfers in Covington for William & Mary, Mikey Watkins, Merrimack, Koulibaly from St. Bonaventure. They are quality, they could win the league. Tough shot for Cam Spencer, but he gets on the board. Off the Brooks miss, Spencer pushes ahead. And Koulibaly has handled playing against Cliff well with one foul. And one, Cliff Amori not phased by a little bump. Well, it's just good dribble penetration. Koulibaly stepping up. I think in that case, Spencer, grueling, fade away, no. Outstanding defense there, Don, by Everett Hammond. Again, that's the second time he's done that as Mass Lowell turns it over. Cam Spencer, last year's Patriot League scoring champion at Loyola, Maryland. Going to work in the paint, and he trickles it over the rim. Paying closer attention to your assignments at this end of the floor, and start trying to sustain stops. Can you get four stops in a row? Four stops in a row, and then not turn it over at the other end. Getting into its offense, now down to 10 on the shot clock. They finally penetrate the top of the key. Nice wraparound pass with the easy layup by Hyatt off the dish from Spencer. Good shot, good shot, way to go. Spencer takes it away. In a foot race, he won't win, but he's gonna play this basketball game at his own pace. Yeah, we are only 10 days away from the Big Ten opener when Illinois travels to Maryland and in what at the moment is a top 25 game. Spencer for two. Foot was on the line, just two. Cam Spencer had eight points in the first five minutes of this ball game. He got 11. That's a tough jumper that he put in. Very, very tough play. Just an experienced guy, and he beat the shot clock with plenty of time. I talk about being cerebral and knowing time and place, situational basketball. And this, this has happened here in the early going of this season. Columbia couldn't get anything easy. Sacred Heart certainly couldn't get anything easy. 
And right now, everything is falling for the Scarlet Knights. Gotten better and bought in to this program year after year. The first Rutgers Scarlet Knight player to win a major award since Amade Enjai back in 2009. Six on the timer. And a pass picked away by Spencer. It was his first steal of the day. He'll get it back for the three and drills another. And we've talked about how this is a team in Central Connecticut likes to shoot a lot of threes, but oh, ever dumped. since the first couple of minutes, they've been going inside a lot, Dom. Right, Rutgers goes inside there. Wolfolk with two more. Tough to do when you have three guys around you, however, but kind of a bailout foul that time by the Blue Devils. Quick in for Wolfolk and lays it in. We'll re-enter. So another look at that basket just a moment ago by Wolfolk. Nice find inside from Spencer to his teammate. Well, it's certainly an improvement from the first few minutes of the second half where Central Connecticut really came out of the locker room with a lot of energy. Rutgers was a little bit lackluster. Now it seems they've kind of found the stride that they had in the first half as Mag drills that three. A moment ago, bodying up downstairs with Momo. But what Mag, American triple off the mark, but look at McConnell grabbing the rebound. On the reload. Ties the game. It's going to be a tough guard because he just cannot pick up that third foul. Jackson Davis also dealing with a couple of ailments. Had a back injury. Boy, easy cut to the rim lane for Hyatt. Especially if Cliff Amore is setting it. And you see Trace Jackson Davis never opens up. Miller Cop never has a chance. Also still has tape on the right thumb from a sprain in October. And he's been neutralized here tonight. Trying to pass it to his fellow big man Thompson. And he has it taken away. McConnell to the cutting Spencer, lays it up, and an easy two once again for Omori. Bruce Thornton went down. Playing huge and above the rim here in the second half, Robbie. Two points in the Cam Spencer, senior from Davidsonville, Maryland, out of Boys Latin School, drive and dish. Beautifully done. Easy two for Andre Hyatt. Former teammate of Andre Curbelo, former fighting Illini. Spencer the takeaway, Hyatt on the run out with the easy two. Mal K.E. to the corner with five. Great look. Perfectly executed to Wolfolk. We're tied. Timeout, Seton Hall. Yes, and John Fanta, you were right on the money in terms of him picking it apart. Here he comes around the double screen. Spencer, his leadership's been huge, and he just came up with a big play to McConnell. Well, that's a great call, too, from the bench. Well, here comes the cut. Nice drive, and McConnell... One of their four players averaging double figures at nearly 12 a game. And he is their size in the backcourt at 6'4". Cam Spencer got caught in the lane. Got it to go. And already an opportunity. Well, you talk about Cam Spencer. What a great get through the portal. Formerly of Loyola. Here's a guy at 6'4". Um, and now, with the transfer portal, they get a guy like Appleby. Look at that pass right there. Not smart. Accentuating the positive, the last two losses, they still play quality, quality defense, and that's what kept them in the game. left it for Amore. Transfer from Delaware last year, averaged 10 points a game for a Blue Hens team that made the NCAA tournament. Spencer, again, feeling it! And, and take the easy way down and pull up for a jump shot. He took exactly what the defense gave him. If Hildreth is going to continue to retreat, you pick up that space as an offensive player. Doesn't really see a lot of time. Okay, he, he get the ball on the ground before hitting with his feet. Goes to the rim, lays it up and in. Spencer had it knocked away and quick hands to get it back. Takes the three and drills it. A lot of his confidence now is as the result of a void being left there with the graduation of Geo Baker and Ron Harper Jr., the writing was on the wall that he needs to step up. And he finishes again on the dish from McConnell. They swipe it away. You get in the gaps. They're handsy and clingy. Spencer with the steal, tipped it to Amoy. Rutgers on the fast break. There's a dunk for Andre Hyatt on the Right here, Rutgers turns defense to offense on a run out and a big time finish at the other end. 
Down low, Mulcahy snuck away from the defense, found the basket with ease. Right here, good awareness by Spencer. Nice cut by Mulcahy. He could have a double-double at least tonight. A whole lot of time left. Look at Spencer just ripped the ball out. Simpson's on the fast break. He lays it down. Sends it back out to McConnell. Now Spencer. Good look for Mulcahy. That's good from three. Nice job. Putting pressure on the defense here. Run a little drip play to go. Spencer, of course, his brother Pat played at Northwestern after being a great lacrosse player. And now he's trying to hit a tough fadeaway shot, and he does. Oh, cow. Even though he hasn't shot it well this year, shot it well in his career, but another turnover this time. Mulcahy takes it from Newman. Just got to be a ball fake there by Brad Newman. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Top shelf where only Amori can grab it. Getting on its feet here, and Cliff Amori with the ultimate silencer. Here it comes, and Amori into the lane. Mulcahy blocked by Morton. Got it back. To shoot Spencer high arcing free and he drops it down. He turns to the crowd and motions for them to sit down. With terrific defense. Ethan Morton, no daylight whatsoever. And Braden Smith. And here's Spencer. Shot fake. The three to grab the lead back and he buries it. What a big time shot by Cam Spencer. You are not kidding. And the onion. Play is the ISO from Okehi. Ethan Morton gets caught ball watching just a bit. Brandon Newman comes over and gets a good contest. Pick and roll, some Spain action. Anything for spacing so somebody can turn the corner. Oh my goodness. Bachelor handed it right to Spencer. Young. And now it's Maryland with a four on one. Hart cannot finish. Simpson leaks out. Slams it home. Have a good feeling about it, turns completely the opposite direction. Well, they were crashing the boards, but another turnover leads to a run out. Great action back and forth. What a block. No one gets back. And this place is going nuts. Rutgers. Dante Scott, Jameer Young, they are a combined one of 12 for Maryland. Spencer got a little bit of space and drilled the high arcer. Already 19 dropped by Iowa in the first seven and a half minutes. Hey, trying to get three back, he can't. Rebound is loose, tipped up to Spencer. Nice bounce speed. It's McConnell inside. That's the foul. Well, Rutgers getting on the offensive glass. It's the hustle play. The impressive thing has been their defense has, even though their half court offense has been good, their defense has really jump started that offensive. Line. Spencer and McCaffrey all over him. He hits three anyway. That's exactly what DeSante Bowen does right there. And nothing really going offensively for Rutgers. Mulcahy is 0 for 8 from the field. Spencer a long three. He's fouled. Oh, I thought they didn't call the foul. He was fouled. That's a definite foul. <laughs> a trail now by 11. Murray lost it. McConnell trying to track it down. So that's Simpson who tracks it down. Simpson all the way to the basket. Oh, three by Roper. Spencer for the tie up top. And he backed it in. Pass from Julian Roper. Then here's the gamble. He goes down. Disadvantage basketball. Nobody. Rutgers, no more timeouts. It's Spencer. Open to the lead. Yes! Cam Spencer does it again. He's got to be in to take the roll away and then get all the way out to Cam Spencer, who is making quite the habit of making shots like this in Big Ten play. But you see Adige has got to cover up Amori. Ohio State mixing it up, like you said, giving them a taste of their own medicine. Start out in a 2-3 zone. And the alley-oop to Amori. And the way to crack a zone, put it up by the rim. And let Amori go to work. Man, he can tear down a backboard. Spencer looking inside. Amori with another two. Easy for him, and what a roll by Amori. He knows what to do with it. 
Spencer now with four to shoot. Leans into it, fires and hits. We just can't say enough. He shoots the three, but he's got the mid-range. His handles are so impressive. Again, Michigan State without Malik Hall. Trying to go up top. Aikens can't finish it. On the other end, an alley-oop that is completed. To get beat, and once again, Cam Spencer in transition for the lob to Ocano. So you have four points. Late in the shot clock here. Spencer oh, no. not fooled by the end zone, and he drops it off to Mag, who puts it up and in, and he's fouled. You to knock shot is going to be a tough evening for Michigan State and Sparty. And now Rutgers, though, does get the ball back. Spencer driving. Finally, he gets a shot to go. Bowser gets caught by picking up his dribble and getting active hands, and Spencer, despite that point. They aren't biting on any of the fakes. Oh, they're fundamentally sound defensively. Amore with the soft touch. And Cliff Amore, 10 minutes into this game, is already into double figures. So he goes to the bench. Andre Hyatt on the floor. Spencer rocks himself into a triple and finally hits. Oh, that's a great side for Rutgers. Talking to Fran McCaffrey earlier, he said he really wants his team to attack that pressure, but instead they turn it over for the second time. Here's Spencer through the lane, knocked away. It'll be Rutgers' ball. It's both free throws, and man, they've got the recruiting rolling now for Rutgers. They got a commitment from Gavin Griffiths from West Hartford, Connecticut, a five-star as Spencer causes the turnover. Gets two for Mr. Reliable, Chris Murray. Here's Mag now, answering on the other end. In the second half, all seven of his points. Patrick McCaffrey cut off, and he turns it over. Seems to have found his range midway through this conference season. And Spencer takes it away. Cam Spencer to the other end for two. A surprise for Rutgers. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with the inability of Minnesota to really play efficiently on the offensive end. You know, they're last in the conference in offensive efficiency, and you can see why. Shoddy ball handling, and as I mentioned, the anticipation of Cam Spencer. Yeah, four out of the last five possessions, Henley's been the shooter. He's got to finish a lot stronger than that. Spencer, that three will fall. One of those guys, as I said, transfer of impact. Dives on the back iron, rebound Mag. 0 for 4 from deep for Michigan State. Quickly up the floor, Mag, the little Euro step for two. It's by two. Spencer at the line. Jumper good, his first field goal. Again, the shot clock winding down for Rutgers. Spencer with the oh, turnaround. That's pretty. Contended to Shufino. Tries to get it inside to Jackson Davis. Mulcahy's got the loose ball. Mulcahy on the run. Now Spencer steps into a three and hits it. And McConnell brings it the other way for Rutgers. This could tie it. And it does. Cam Spencer hits the three. And he misses it. Stolen away, though, by Spencer. It is a held ball, and it will stay with Rutgers. Well, the crowd really likes Paul McKay here. Every time he touches the basketball, you're hearing cheers. Hyatt knocks down the three, and Rutgers is on the board. Kane Danger has an assortment of runners. Spencer with the left hand got it up quickly, so Danger couldn't alter it. Amazing that all of that transpired in three seconds. Yes, yes. And now a pickoff by Spencer, his 58th steal of the season. We've talked with Coach Pike about it. They know it was going to come. Just how do you handle it? Fourth turnover caused Spencer with the steal. On the drive, floats it up and in. Rutgers by five. Extra pass to Spencer. He's wide open for three. Oscar's the one of five from the floor to start here in the second half. Lawrence had it blocked by Spencer. Well, they fall back into that zone. I 
It has been the go-to guy tonight with 24. Cam Spencer needs a three, and he got it. Rolling the dice a little bit. Try to establish some offensive rhythm. Spencer really feeling it. I would expect Ruckers to try to get Cliff Amore going as well. Spencer again. Holy cow. And this is one of those teammates are firing him. He doesn't need much space. Cotton from long range for Connor Isiji. The Badgers went 10 and a half minutes plus as Spencer hits the three. So you protect the shooting on the wing, but also the same thing can be said for Rutgers inside as well. Cam Spencer has the opening goal for Rutgers. He had six threes at the Kohl Center over the weekend. Spencer against Dickinson. Spencer turns the corner and beat him to the goal. Of uh, being the 22nd Wolverine to score 1,500 points, 27 more points to do that. Select group, big three for Rutgers and Spencer. Anytime, Jess, you can be on a list with LeBron James and Steph Curry, and I don't care if that's how many wins you have in paddle ball, it's a heck of a list. <laughs> Funk's first points of the ball game. He didn't score at Ohio State either. Spencer, they had to have a bucket, and that was a tough shot. Had them at Mike DeCourcy, had them as one of the first four out. At home against Rutgers, this is a quad two game. So a big night tonight for Penn State. I mean, if I told you coming into the game that Funk and Lundy would be one of ten from three, you're like, we did our job. Exactly. No, to Amore. The unstoppable play if he can get space inside. Hyatt off the screen. Rutgers struggled at the beginning of that Penn State game. That's why they got down by so much. Cam Spencer navigating the rim. He finds two. Goes up strong. May have had that partially deflected. Two on the shot clock for Rutgers. Spencer drains a three. The rebound they're looking for again slips to Rutgers. That's been the theme of the day. And Amore powering it down. And that loss Thursday at Minnesota pushed them closer to the bubble, although every major bracketologist still has them in the field. And that man is in the bucket, Cam Spencer from way downtown. We're hoping that is the case. He has a team high six. Rutgers, though, still down by four at the break. Cam Spencer. Oh, my goodness. With the left, Amore, and the foul. Cam Spencer drawing the defense, drawing Nicholson over, getting it high enough over the defense to where only. Meanwhile, Spencer steals it back. Mulcahy lays it in. In the defensive stands, yelling, trying to inspire his team. Must have worked. The former point guard from UConn able to get his team going from the sideline. Can he get his team offensively going? Simpson, no. Mulcahy there with a follow. Upkin on the baseline. A little bobble by Williams. And a turnover to Rutgers. Quick push ahead to McConnell. Here's Spencer. Foul line jumper is true. And Rutgers within five. Well, that's what Rutgers needs to look to do. Now get out and push once again if you're Rutgers. Spencer. Aggressive to the rim for two. There you go. Eight point lead. Spencer for three. Oh my! Cam Spencer! We're gonna have to do something quick here. Trying to enter it in and pop and rim with the takeaway. Newman. And it's taken right back by Spencer. Numbers for Rutgers if they hurry. Spencer will pull up the long range. Watch Cam Spencer anticipate this pass. Jumps the pass, gets the steal. And that anticipation is, he's done it all season long. And that's going to be a three. It looked... Spencer curls. Back it goes to Wolfolk. Roll into the rim for two. Wolfolk got a lot of. Spencer will back up for three. And he rolls it home. Time out, Scarlet Knights. Cam Spencer able to shake free of Ethan Morton. Comes off at the right angle to clear that space.